Uh, Steve, um, it's been an astonishing year in finance, in maritime. What do you make of it? The banks that lend to shipping that are largely European banks have uh, naturally suffered enormously from the effects of the Eurozone crisis, uh, which has helped dry up a lot of their available funds uh, for lending, not just to shipping of course, but to uh, many other industries and uh, personal borrowers as well. Uh, that's meant that uh, the funds available for sh shipping companies to invest, uh, whether to buy new ships or second-hand tonnage, has been extremely limited and the terms and conditions on which they can borrow are much tougher than they have been for many years. Do you think some banks uh, are getting out of this business? Is it unattractive to them? I mean, there have been a reduction in the number of banks lending to shipping, partly because of the um, consolidation that followed the uh, the crisis and some banks going out of business and restructuring themselves, but also uh, credit committees uh, in banks looking at shipping, uh, not uh, finding favour with what they see because the shipping markets are generally pretty poor, the returns are often negative at the moment and uh, they're getting increasingly concerned about getting their money back. And uh, d did the Chinese and will the Chinese step in? Not to the extent that uh, was perhaps expected. Um, some Chinese banks, particularly the state-backed policy banks, have increased their involvement in shipping, but that's largely to support Chinese interests, such as Chinese shipbuilders and also Chinese charterers um, using ships uh, from foreign owners to import goods into China. Um, so that has slightly eased the situation. Um, but they've not come in wholesale and they're not, for example, lending to foreign owners with no other connection with China. Um, it seems like the only piece of good news on the financing side was private equities beginning to get involved in uh, the periphery and things like, you know, medium range product tankers and so forth. Uh, was there any good news that we saw this year? Uh, as you say, private equity uh, has come into shipping to some extent, although it's still on a very limited scale. But we keep being told that there are plenty of funds out there looking at shipping and waiting for the opportunity to come in. Uh, we rather suspect that they're waiting for prices uh, of ships to drop a bit more, but we're told that the money is there and waiting, so that could be good news uh, at some point. And stare into your crystal ball and tell us what's going to happen in 2012. In 2012 there'll be more of the same, uh, only probably e even more so. The um, poor tents are not good for the, the banking system as a whole, uh, it could get e even tighter, money could be even more uh, at a premium literally uh, and banks may become even more reluctant to, to lend money especially into a market that, that is also going to look pretty bad in 2012. Hold on for a bumpy ride. <laughs>